gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt. Amun, a primeval god, the Egyptians interpreted his name as the Hidden One. As Amun-Ra, he was identified with the sun god. Known as the king of deities, he is associated with the hawk and the ram. His Karnak temple was one of the most glamorous. Anubis, the god of mummification and embalming. He also protected the mummy from evil forces in the night and conducted the weighing of the heart in the Hall of Judgment before Osiris and the 42 deities. He is associated with the jackal. Bastet, the cat goddess worshipped in the city of Bast. She was connected with the moon and in a myth became the eye of the moon. She was one of the most popular household deities. Bess, a protective spirit who averted evil. His most important attribute was the Sa, the symbol of protection. Bess was usually portrayed as a dwarf with a huge bearded head, protruding tongue, flat nose, shaggy eyebrows and hair, large projecting ears, long thick arms, and bowed legs. Hathor, the name of the goddess means House of Horus. She was a sky goddess in earlier times and she appeared as a cow, a symbol of fertility. She was also the goddess of dance, music, and love. Hathor is one of the oldest known goddesses of Egypt, symbolizing the great mother or cosmic goddess who conceived, brought forth, and maintained all life. Horus. Horus is associated with the hawk and may be depicted as a hawk with or without the double crown of Egypt, or as a man with a hawk's head. He is the god of kingship. Isis, daughter of Geb and Nut, sister of Osiris and Seth, and Osiris's wife. Isis was more popular than any other goddess in Egyptian history. It was Isis that found the pieces of her brother, husband, Osiris, put him back together and gave birth to their son, Horus. Isis was the goddess of love and magic. As the protector of little children, she is also associated with motherhood. She is depicted as a woman with a throne on her head. Ma'at. The goddess Ma'at was the personification of the basic laws of all existence. She embodied the concepts of law, truth, justice, and world order. In the Hall of Judgment, at the weighing of the heart, the heart of the deceased was placed on the scales of justice, balanced against the feather of Ma'at, the symbol of truth. She was usually depicted as a woman with an ostrich feather on her head. Newt. Newt was the daughter of the air god Shu. She was also the sister and wife to Geb, she was the personification of the Vault of Heaven and the Milky Way. Newt was considered to be a protector of the dead and at times was depicted as a cow. Osiris, the most well-known figure in Egyptian history and the Lord of the Underworld. He was a god of agriculture, resurrection, and eternal life. Osiris had many titles, including Wenifer, the Perfect One. His brother Seth envied his popularity and murdered him, dismembered him, and scattered the pieces throughout the Nile Valley. His wife Isis found the pieces and through magic conceived their son Horus. Osiris then became the god of the underworld. Osiris is usually depicted as a mummified man. Sekhmet, lioness-headed goddess of war and of the desert. The ancient Egyptians called her the Mighty One. She was the protector of the king whenever he went into battle, and conversely, she was also a goddess of healing. Sobek, crocodile-headed god of the Nile. The ancient Egyptians believed that the waters from the Nile came from his sweat. Toth, the ancient Egyptians called this god Jahuti. The ibis bird and baboon were associated with Toth. 
Toth was the Lord of the Moon, the Lord of Time, and the Recorder of Years. As the god who invented writing, he was the protector of scribes. As a protector of Osiris, he also became helper of the dead. When the Greeks came to Egypt, they assimilated Toth to their god of magic, Hermes, and he became known as Hermes Trismegistus.